They have a word for people that don't do what the crew chief says. You know what that word is? Uh, usually it's fired, but he owns the team. Owner. So. Oh, good. well, there you go. That's why. Owner. Yeah. yeah. Hey, here comes another one. Ron Caps driving the Snake Tribute car. Hot Wheels, Napa Auto Parts, the Gazoo Toyota sitting in the number five spot, and Bob Tasca, the number two qualifier. Tasca, who came out on the wrong end of that coasting match earlier in the day in the Pet Boys All Star call out. But Tasca is going to be a force to be reckoned with in the countdown to the championship. AutoAlert.com, the Motocraft folks, all working with Bob, PPG. We're headed up to his neck of the woods next weekend. Not exactly his backyard, but a whole lot closer than we mostly get. Task is number two. He's going to stay there. I don't think there's a whole lot of doubt about that. We've seen out there on the hot racetrack, <laughs> that 395 that, uh, that Robert and Jimmy Proc put together was pretty sporty. There hadn't been anybody really close to that as of yet. I think if, if I'm Aaron Brooks and I'm Todd Okahara, I think I actually want to stay number two. You know why? You mean just because of the side your ladder you're on? No, because if you end up number one in these conditions, you may be here till midnight. Nah, nah. Ain't nobody taking the number one spot away. That's my point. Good runs. Wow, 395, Ron Caps, 323, 396, Bob Tasca, 324. Mark my words, those two cars are going to be around late tomorrow afternoon. I really believe that. Robert Height, tomorrow. Paul Lee in round number one. Bob Task is going to take on Terry Haddock. We'll run down the rest of them after we run down here from Joe. Down here with Dean Antonelli, 95 here in final qualifying. What has your experience been like over these five qualifying sessions in this snake car? Well, it's, uh, it's unbelievable to get to fly snakes colors on our car and Apple allowing that. And we know the fans love it. And, of course, Ron worked there. So it's all a lot to take in and an honor. And, of course, you're at Indy. Um, so Robert was brilliant calling us out first round because there is a discrepancy in the lanes when it's warmer. And good strategy, A-plus to them. We would have called him out if we were low. Amazing stuff. All right, that's Dean Antonelli. And look, let's go right over here and speak with Snake. Hey, everybody, it's Don the Snake Prudhomme. All right, Snake, you've had this experience. You're seeing the car going quick, going fast. Tomorrow's race day. How do you feel? Oh, yeah, I was, uh, like I was telling Caps, I said, this has all been playing around, man, because uh, tomorrow's the big day. That's when you win the U.S. Nationals. And so all this other stuff is fun. But uh, right now it looks like he's got a good race car underneath him. He just put a good number down. So they can play with that and uh, be ready for tomorrow. All right. Well, good luck tomorrow. It's it. The big go. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Winning U.S. Nationals is a hot setup. But uh, we just want to thank Napa once again for uh, doing what they did and let us put the paint scheme on the car. 